What's up everyone, Dapper here, and we're back playing some more Marble World! Today, we have a mess of marbles on the floor. We're going to be needing to make a vacuum to suck them all up, and I'm really not sure what's going to happen with them after that. But anyway, let's quickly spawn in a vacuum. And three, two, one, go! Look at that, it is just coming into existence, and uh, this is just as far as I built so far. Anyway, uh, this is the vacuum happening right here. Um, I, I kind of have it set up so that like the suction part is going to happen right here, and the marbles are going to make their way in. And uh, right now, I'm working on this like tube system here that is going to have the marbles go up. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Here we go. Uh, we're going to have the marbles go up into this system here uh, that I think is just going to make them like tornado around. I think that would be kind of cool, right? Anyway, we are going to continue building this right now. Um, I definitely need to make this into a better marble run because, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to want to clean all of these marbles up. Anyway, let's jump in right where I'm leaving off. And uh, I need to funnel these marbles into this spot here. I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. I guess I can just like... Oh, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna give it some more track pieces here. And we're just going to funnel them inward towards that tube there. Let's go ahead and change the size like that. Yeah, so I haven't done a build video in a while, so today we're going to be building something kind of live. Is that is that how you say that? Not live, but we're just going to be building it on camera today. All right, here we go. This is actually looking pretty good. That's a nice funnel there, but I do need to move it slightly like so all right perfect i think that'll work anyway this is kind of a a weird vacuum that i've got going on here um i definitely am gonna need another one of these um so it's sucking up the marbles but I, like i don't know where they're gonna go after this uh that's fine i think we just like shoot it out of the handle or something i don't know by the way, Dyson, if you want the schematics for this, uh, yeah, uh, you know where to find me. Let me know, you know. I'm, uh, I'm down to do business. Anyway, okay, there we go. That's the cap on the top, and that actually looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Um, I definitely want to do, like, a physics piece inside. Let's go ahead and check out our physics pieces here. Ooh, we got new ones. That's kind of cool. Got this rotating circular dial here. Uh, looks like we can go both ways like that. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got. I don't know if I want to use that here because that might clog up the marbles. I'm thinking we use something like this. This will be kind of cool. All right. Let's go ahead and put this in here like so. And let's give it the right angle before we do anything else. Um, hopefully that's good. <laughs> I guess we can fix that later. And uh, we'll increase the size. Bam. All right, that actually looks really good, but now we need to make it longer, like the size of the tube. Can we do, can we do that? Can we just be like, eh, stretch it all the way out? The camera really helps here. Uh, perfect. <laughs> oh, we had to go so far away to make that happen. All right, look at that. Okay, now we've got this thing. Let's go ahead and make it spin. Oh, that is looking awesome. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a real vacuum cleaner now. That's insane. All right, so we got that thing spinning inside. Um, is this going to look better with a different transparency? Uh, no. No, I don't. I don't think so. All right, let's change that back to what it was. Oh, uh, we got the tubes here. We're going to make those uh, transparent as well. Um, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to leave this maybe the color of the vacuum. I, I don't know. We, we might change this later. It's a nice orange vacuum. What if we did that? Hmm. I don't know. We might need to mess around with the looks here. Um, I'm not really sure where we're going to go with that. But let's go ahead and finish up this area next. Uh, so I think I can just take this, copy, paste it. Bring it over here. Okay, this is looking pretty good, but I'm just not noticing that this is definitely not center. So let's fix that really quick. Okay, this is an interesting looking vacuum. <laughs> uh, I kind of like it though. This is kind of cool. All right. Um, I need to like block the marbles from leaving here because this is going to be like sucking them up. But uh, I don't exactly know how to do that. All right, I'm going to work on the handle right now just so I can get a better idea of what this is going to look like. 
that looks pretty good um, and let's make this slightly better we'll give it like uh, something like that and move that over here and bring that size way down okay all right this is looking kind of cool uh, we can do that and make it slightly smaller all right there is the basis of our vacuum cleaner this is actually looking pretty cool all right back to this problem here i need to fix this somehow uh first we can paint it and uh we now have invisible carpet uh oops there we go that's back to normal all right i think i'm gonna attempt to fix this problem with more track pieces uh, but unfortunately, those are not going to work because they're going to snap to everything. So I am going to use these instead, maybe. Can I fit a triangle in here? That would actually work perfectly, wouldn't it? All right, let's try these triangles. This should help me a lot. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Uh, now we just need to make it go this way. Oh, that's actually like almost perfect. Okay, hold on. Let's get this a little better and would you look at that would you look just look at that that's actually looking really good uh we can even go one more this way oh what a beaut okay that's good i think uh now i just need to take this and flip it around and move it over here okay that's kind of cool that's looking really good all right all right all right Time to take the pipe piece here and extend it. Uh, need to get the sizing right though. Oh, right there. And we will do something like that. All right, perfect. Uh, and now I need one more piece. And I think we can get away with using a square like this. That looks good. I uh, just need to get it in position here. Uh, change the size a bit like so. And do that. All right, let's take this off the grid really quick so we can fix this up. All right, I think that's good enough now. Let's go ahead and make it transparent so it matches. And boom, that is going to suck up the marbles pretty good, I think. Um, it's a weird looking vacuum, but that's fine. Uh, this is a little protruded on the top, but that's also fine, I believe. Um, I think I should paint this as well. Let's go transparent so we can see the marbles going into the vacuum. Excellent. All right. All right, we'll change the painting of that. That looks pretty good. Um, should I make that a little bit longer? I think I'm going to make it like that hopefully this doesn't actually affect the marbles going in but that's fine all right cool this vacuum is almost done this is actually looking pretty great uh now i think i just need to set up like the marble run that makes it happen and i'm going to do a little bit of decorating in the background to kind of make this look more like a room uh i think we'll do a couch back here of sorts and yeah i'm gonna see what i can throw together Okay, so I'm not going to lie, uh, the proportions are a bit off, but it's fine. We are going to continue with this. Okay, um, we need to make it so that the marbles get sucked up somehow. So I think we're just going to change the gravity um, right underneath it. But I'm also going to put a blocker down here so that the marbles don't uh, escape. So we're going to do something like this. It's going to be invisible, of course. So, uh, yeah, no one needs to know that it's here, but us, um, it'll be a secret. Let's go ahead and put that, like, right, um, we'll do it like this. We'll put it, like, right here. Now we'll make it invisible, and now we can do a track as well. Let's go ahead and place it, like, right here. And I'm going to make this track invisible as well. But in order for the marbles to move, uh, I'm definitely going to need to make it like... Um, I'm gonna, I need to put some boosters underneath it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick as well. Uh, I suppose we should get the mechanism going here. Um, that sucks up the marbles as well. Let's go to special. We'll go ahead and put this here. And then we can increase the size. 
just like so. All right, that should be pretty good. Now we'll take this booster and do the same thing. All right, there we go. All right, time to make that invisible. We don't want to see that. And let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see what happens. So we drop the marbles down. Um, but that looks interesting that the marbles just kind of float. Uh, we might need to change that a bit, but that is so cool. Look at that. They all just get sucked up. All right, okay, so we need to change the interior of this a bit to actually make it work. But we're almost there. This is looking good. Okay. Um, first, let's go ahead and move the booster. I'm going to bring that down. Let's see if it still works like that. Kind of, kind of. Let's try that again. Uh, there we go. Okay, something like that. All right, so now we need to make it so that the marbles kind of get into a mess uh, before hitting that, though. So I got a pretty good idea of how to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our invisible pieces. Let's go ahead and grab this track piece. And we will do something along the lines of this. All right, here we go. That should work pretty well. There we go. All the marbles kind of get mixed up a little bit. Uh, some of them fall out and my computer is totally destroying itself right now. But let's go ahead and watch the vacuum do its work. Look at that. And I, oh my gosh, that looks so cool. That is amazing. Okay. This is coming along pretty good. This is a powerful vacuum. It really looks like it's like sucking the marbles up from like all the way over there. Um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna change this around just a little bit just to see how it looks. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn the marbles in now. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks amazing. <laughs> all right, that's actually pretty perfect. Okay, time to mess around with the interior of this vacuum and we're gonna make it function a little more properly. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna take this piece here and do something like that. Uh, we can make that a bit smaller and then make it wider. All right, I need to make sure this still works. I want to make sure that this triangle doesn't really get in the way. And it kind of does. So we are going to change this a little bit. There we go. That should be a bit better. We can even move this back a little bit. No, that should be fine. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, now I'm going to take a copy of this. And we're going to flip it around and change it invisible or transparent. Put it right there. And I'm also going to copy paste this and bring it up. So this should give our marbles regular gravity. And make it invisible. All right, let's test this out once again. There are marbles that are getting sucked up by our incredibly powerful vacuum and they make their way to the back kind of naturally, which is great. And uh, now we just need to make it so that this actually sucks them up once again. All right, so let's get started on that now. We'll make that transparent as well. I'm also going to change the size of this a little bit like so that's already kind of working that is great that is exactly what i want uh except that's working for the ones that are already upside down hmm how do i want to do this all right so i've decided to change the design here a little bit um i think it's really cool having a vacuum that's like completely transparent so i'm gonna try to use that look a little bit more um, and I might end up changing the handle as well. And I still need to come up with a solution for this area here. I really am not sure what to do about this just yet. Um, uh, cause I want it to be able to suck up all the marbles, but I don't want them to get stuck or to fall out of here. So that's just going to take a little bit of work. Uh, before I do that, I want to make this vacuum cleaner look super cool. So I went ahead and I added this smaller, um, section here that matches the curvature of this and now i think i'm going to do a transparent base as well and that's as easy as just copy and pasting this i think i can even grab these as well uh, so we'll go ahead and copy paste and we'll bring that down like so and this is already starting to look super cool um, i do need to bring it down a little bit more though i think yes i do uh, let's go ahead and get this to match 
up with the lip here, even though it's not really an issue. Um, it'll just give me a little bit more peace of mind like that something. Okay, perfect. That looks good. All right, now I need to make sure this is transparent here or it could be orange. How would that look if it was orange? Let's go ahead and do that really fast. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool that it looks the way it does. I might make that transparent again. I do need to make supports for these wheels. Um, I've got an idea that might be super cool to do that too. Uh, let's take one of these curved pieces here and let's put it back on the grid because that'll be super helpful. And we'll rotate it like so. And now we're going to make it a bit smaller. All right, that actually looks so good. Um, can we make that transparent as well? Excellent, that looks kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and move this wheel support over here as well. And now we'll take both of them, copy, paste, and bring them to the other side. Flip them around. That was actually perfect. And let's get them in position there. And I think that's good. Look at that. We've got like a transparent vacuum now that's like fully transparent. Kind of cool. Um, again, I need to find a solution for this area. The marbles are definitely going to fall out there. Let's go ahead and fix that. Um, let's go ahead and change the carpet a little bit now. Uh, I was experimenting with this, this earlier, but I want to be able to make this easier to see. It's kind of hard to see the details of the vacuum if the floor is white, but that looks a little bit better, I have to admit. Um, <laughs> the carpet has some mighty giant fibers, but that's fine. Uh, at least it is a carpet. And uh, this is starting to look pretty good. I do need to move the whole thing down, which actually might be difficult to do. Actually, you know what? Let's do that now. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and group it up as well. So we'll go ahead and grab all of that. That actually worked out perfect. And we're going to make this a group. Call it Bakum. There we go. All right. So all of that was basically just procrastinating because I still don't have a solution for this. But let's go ahead and get started on one. Um, I think... Man, I really don't know how I want to do this. Can I just... Can I just do this? Okay, it really does not want to snap to that, and that's fine, but um, I need it to, kind of. Okay, I got an idea. I guess uh, I will attempt it now, but we're going to try to use boosters, and then I will use invisible pieces uh, to help the marbles get into there. I think that's my only option here. Um, it might be a little bit difficult, but hopefully it works. Um, oh, we also have gears now, which is amazing. Okay. That's so cool. Alright, we're gonna have to look at those later. Um, uh, what is this? It's a mover! We have a mover now! It's amazing! Okay. I've been gone too long, I think, at this point. Alright, here we go. Uh, we'll take this. Bring it down here. Um, that's not what I want to happen. Let's try that. And this. Alright, here we go. Time to test. Marbles are coming in. They go up here. And then it kind of works. <laughs> it kind of sort of works. Alright, that's good. That's great, actually. So now I just need to stop the marbles from, uh, you know, doing that. Just need to make sure that they all make it into this pipe here. I think this actually might help if I do that. Um, but now I need to make some sort of funnel. Which I possibly could just use a funnel. But I didn't want to. Actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do that. In fact, I think I can just steal this one here. And uh, I'm going to make it invisible. Uh, oops. I actually might be able to make this part of the vacuum if I can do it just right. You know what? Nope. Nope. We're going to go back to what it was. There we go. That should work. That should work. We're going to make this invisible. Unfortunately, we have to. 
uh, but it's fine because this is now going to actually work perfectly. So here we go. Here come the marbles making their way down, being sucked in by this ginormous, super powerful vacuum. And now they are getting stuck, unfortunately. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to use invisible walls again. Anything can be solved with invisible walls. All right, here we go. I'm going to just do this. Going to move it forward like that. And then I'm also going to move them out like so. And we just need another booster here to stop the marbles from getting stuck. All right, time to test. Here we go. Once again, hopefully this all just kind of works now. Um, all the marbles are being sucked up. Uh, I, However, I didn't delete it, so that one might just be stuck there. So let's try this again. Here we go. The marbles are incoming. There we go. Getting sucked up into the vacuum and then going up into... Oh, this is so cool. Look at this working. This is amazing. I don't know why they're getting stuck in here. Um, I don't think... Oh, okay, so if I just move this slightly, uh, I should be able to fix that. And now we have a problem here, but that's fine. We'll figure that out later. Uh, whoa, just as long as we can get this vacuum 100% working. Um, it looks so cool. Okay, so these are flying up a little too fast. So we're going to make this go quicker. Like so. And we're also going to give them a different... Uh, wow, I cannot think today. This is kind of an issue. Um, we're going to give them a different gravity. So I'm going to take this gravity piece here. And it's going to be invisible anyway, so that's fine. We'll give it a negative 0.1. Uh, so hopefully this gives us like a very low grav tornado happening inside this funnel thing. And we might even be able to slow the spinning down. Uh, but let's go ahead and try this one more time. This is hopefully going to look super cool. Here we go. The... But, oh, okay. I was wondering what was happening. We accidentally put it on a slower speed. All right, here we go. Vacuum sucks. Up. Wait, oh my gosh, my vacuum is broken. It is very broken. All right, that's fine. Um, we're just going to move this booster here, and I need to remake um, the stopper inside. Um, actually, I don't need to remake it. I can just grab this one here. How convenient. All right. Test number 23. I actually haven't been counting. So here we go. Oh my gosh, it's actually working so good. This is amazing. Um, all right, all of the marbles actually make it all the way up into the vacuum. That's perfect. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, would it be cooler though? Oh, we might be able to make this cooler. I have an idea. I have an idea that we're going to test now. Oh, there goes a marble. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so cool. Oh, they're just going off into space now. All right, let's get my invisible paint out here so we can make this look a bit better while I think. There we go. I don't really like this square still. I still might change that. But, um, hmm. All right, hopefully I placed those right. Here we go. Vacuum, once again, sucking up a bunch of marbles. There we go. They're all in the vacuum. They get inside the vacuum, and then they start getting thrown around. That's so cool. That's way cooler. Look at that. Oh, they're not all, like, in unison. They all just get smacked on these things. Um, is that working right, though? I was hoping it would bring them inward, but some of them are just getting stuck, and I'm not really sure if that's because I didn't place it right. Or just doesn't know how to react to the physics going so fast. Um, but that's still, nonetheless, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to let these go just yet. I need to make sure that they are positioned correctly. I suppose I could just do this. All right, test number 56. <laughs> uh, probably not that many, but here we go. All of the marbles being so. Well, how did that happen? What? Oh, oh, I'm losing some of them. That's not good. Um, okay. That's good to know. I might need to move this back a little bit, which might cause them to get stuck in here again. Oh, no, I might need to move the whole thing. Let's grab that. And the pipe, if I can get it. 
All right, I'm going to delete these for now because um, this just looks really cool. Although I need to do a... Oh, actually, I don't need to do a backing there. That's actually fine. All right, I think I'm about ready to call this project done. Uh, basically, I just want to do this for fun because I thought it'd be a really cool idea. Uh, but to finish this off, I think I'm going to do like the handle of this futuristic vacuum. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change the size of this to be like that um hopefully we can get the right angle here because i am not doing it on the grid but that's fine go ahead and do something like that and um i kind of like that it sends the marbles into the oblivion of the sky where they just kind of disappear so i think i'm gonna leave that it's kind of cool all right so there we go there is the handle and uh, we're just gonna make that a little bit longer and we can do this as well go ahead and make this part of the handle and we can change the size of that and do something like so all right now we can change the color of this to be i guess orange and we'll do the black handle once again like that and see how that looks let's go ahead and turn all that off and uh <laughs> it looks kind of funny actually um can i just make this a bit bigger like that and i'll change the size of this make it look a bit better okay i think that's gonna be good enough for me look at that it's a it's a vacuum that sucks marbles into oblivion and it just releases them into the sky. Um, if this house had a ceiling, uh, I don't think it'd be too good. But let's go ahead and throw in all of the marble names and let's see this finally in action. Um, guys, give me some more ideas. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Um, I'm actually going to do a couple of these. Oh my gosh, we're going to have a ton of marbles right now. All right, let's do this custom marbles oh no we still have all of the names from the last video that's fine you know what i didn't update it uh i will update it again in the future again give me all of your ideas guys let's go ahead and throw this in and there are all the marble names being sucked into the vacuum and uh, oh my gosh this is just insane look at that all of the marbles being sucked up and then they all go into oblivion just like so um this is actually super satisfying we can actually make this possibly the start to a crazy marble run um let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments below let's go ahead and throw a few more waves of marbles in here and uh hopefully some of you guys can see your names with the waves uh, we'll just go ahead and destroy my computer quite a bit here oh my gosh look at all of them that's so satisfying it just sucks all of the marbles in and uh releases them into oblivion <laughs> oh my gosh that's too funny that is too funny so yeah maybe i'll make a pipe leading somewhere else and uh, you guys can let me know what you want to see in the future maybe we can build something else maybe something eating some marbles uh maybe we can turn it into a race i would turn this one into a race but like i don't know i've just i've already spent like two and a half hours on this it's kind of ridiculous so uh again let me know what you guys think down in the comments below hopefully you guys like this one uh it's a bit of a change do you guys like seeing the build let me know Anyway, let's go ahead and turn this off to all the names just so we can see how satisfying. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool watching all the marbles. How oh, I guess they're getting deleted constantly from my computer, so I can just kind of spam it a little bit. Oh my holy cow, we are oh oh, it's actually it's getting a lot better. It's getting a lot better. Look at that. The vacuum is sucking up all of the marbles and just releasing them off into space i guess they they're gonna go up towards the galaxies out into space but yeah let me know again what you guys think down in the comments below uh don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe and uh let me know what you want to see and uh, i will see you all in the next one peace